80% of success in life is just showing up. That's a saying you might have heard before, but what happens when showing up is the hardest part? Every day we face a barrage of challenges and choices, from the mundane to the monumental, and it's not just about making decisions, it's about making the right decisions for a purposeful life. This is where the ancient philosophy of Stoicism isn't just a tool, it's a roadmap to resilience and personal mastery. Today, we'll uncover the principles that can help us lead lives of greater purpose and calmness in the face of chaos. Whether you're a student struggling with your course load, a professional overwhelmed by the pace of your career, or someone just trying to get through the day without feeling defeated by it, these timeless lessons from Stoic philosophy are tailored for modern challenges. We're going to dive deep into practical strategies that will empower you to handle life's ups and downs with grace and wisdom. From learning how to protect your time like it's your most valuable asset, to mastering your emotions and responses to external pressures, Stoicism offers more than just comfort. It offers actionable steps that you can start using today. So stay tuned as we explore how these ancient insights can be transformed into modern superpowers. If you appreciate what we're doing here and want to support us in a simple, free way, please hit the subscribe button. And remember, don't skip any part of the video. Every moment is packed with insights that you won't want to miss. 1. Seek Challenges Stoicism isn't just about enduring the hard times. It's about actively seeking out those challenges that push us beyond what's comfortable. The Stoic philosophers, like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, saw challenges not as barriers, but as vital opportunities for personal development and self-discovery. Every time we step out of our comfort zones, we're not just facing something difficult, we're engaging in a profound act of self-improvement. When we embrace challenges, we do more than survive them. We thrive because of them. It's in these moments, when we're tested and pushed to our limits, that we discover abilities and strengths hidden within us, resources we might never have tapped into otherwise. Think about the last time you faced something that seemed insurmountable. Remember that sense of accomplishment after you came through it? That's growth in its purest form. So, what is it that scares you? What challenge have you been avoiding because it seems too daunting? Maybe it's speaking in public, learning a new skill, or perhaps tackling a project that feels beyond your current capabilities. Whatever it is, consider this. That fear and hesitation is a signpost, pointing you toward your next opportunity for growth. Lean into it. Embrace it. Because in the realm of Stoicism, growth isn't just about reaching a destination. It's about expanding the boundaries of what you thought was possible. And remember, every great journey begins with the courage to take that first uncomfortable step. Let's not shy away from these challenges. Let's meet them head on, knowing that with each step, we are becoming not only better equipped to handle the next one, but also more connected with the truest versions of ourselves. 2. Choose your influence. The Stoics were profoundly aware of the impact our environment has on us, especially the people we choose to surround ourselves with. They knew that just as a plant grows best in fertile soil, so too do human beings flourish in enriching environments. This is why they emphasize the importance of being selective with our associations. It's a lesson that remains just as relevant today. You can't choose your family, that's true, but you can choose your friends, your mentors, and even the role models you decide to emulate. This choice is crucial because these are the people who will influence your thoughts, actions, and ultimately, your character. Seneca, one of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, advised that we should associate with people who embody the virtues we wish to develop. Their traits can rub off on us, not just through their words, but through their actions. Now think about the circle of people you interact with daily. 
Do these individuals inspire you? Do they push you towards greatness or pull you into complacency? Are they people whose values align with those you aspire to uphold? These are important questions because the answers can determine the quality of your own personal growth. Surround yourself with those who reflect not just who you are, but who you want to be. Choose friends who challenge you, who make you think differently, and who motivate you to rise above petty concerns. This doesn't mean seeking perfection in others, but rather looking for people who strive earnestly to improve themselves. Those who embrace their imperfections while working to overcome them. In a world filled with diverse personalities, be strategic about whom you let into your inner circle. Think of it as curating the influences around you to create a personal environment conducive to growth. Remember, in the spirit of Stoicism, this isn't about finding comfort. It's about finding challenge, inspiration, and alignment with your deepest values. So, make sure the people around you aren't just there by circumstance, but by choice. A choice that reflects your commitment to living a purposeful and virtuous life. 3. Focus on your response. Stoicism provides a powerful reminder that life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. But while we may not have control over the external events that disrupt our lives, we have ultimate control over how we respond to them. This core Stoic principle teaches us that our responses are a testament to our character and a reflection of our deepest values. When life throws something unexpected your way, it's easy to react impulsively, to let frustration or disappointment take the wheel. But Stoicism invites us to pause and consider a different approach. The next time you're faced with a situation that doesn't go as planned, whether it's a project falling through at work, a sudden financial setback, or a personal betrayal, take a moment to step back. This pause is crucial. It gives you the space to choose a response rather than just react. Think about what your ideal self would do in this situation. How can you respond in a way that aligns with your values? Maybe it involves approaching the problem with calmness and clarity rather than anger. Perhaps it means offering forgiveness instead of holding on to resentment. Or it could be about finding a solution rather than dwelling on the problem. This is where your true power lies, not in altering the uncontrollable external events, but in mastering your own internal response. This stoic approach doesn't just mitigate the immediate impact of negative experiences, it also cultivates long-term resilience. By consistently choosing responses that reflect the best parts of ourselves, we strengthen our character and become more adept at navigating the complexities of life. Each challenge becomes a stepping stone to a more resilient and virtuous self. 4. Say yes to what matters. In today's fast-paced world, cluttered with endless notifications and demands on our attention, it's never been more crucial to say yes to what truly matters. This is a core principle in Stoicism, which emphasizes the importance of focusing on what we can control and aligning our actions with our deepest values and goals. Stoic philosophy teaches us that every decision to engage in one activity is inherently a decision to disengage from another. This trade-off means that when we say yes to anything, we are implicitly saying no to something else. Consider the power of this perspective. When you choose to dedicate time to your career, for instance, you might be saying no to a leisure activity. Conversely, when you decide to spend the evening with your family instead of working late, you are prioritizing personal relationships over immediate professional obligations. The key is to make these choices consciously, ensuring that they reflect what is genuinely important to you. This stoic approach involves a deliberate evaluation of your options, which choices will bring you closer to the person you want to be, which actions will make your life more meaningful. 
This might mean saying no to small distractions and minor commitments that do not serve your larger goals. For example, turning down a casual invitation to stay in and read a book that enlightens you or choosing to work on a personal project instead of scrolling through social media. By practicing this disciplined approach to decision-making, you gradually shape a life that is not only more focused and less cluttered, but also richer in achievements and closer to your ideals. Remember, every yes is powerful and every no is an opportunity to redirect your life towards something more significant. The Stoics would advise us to wield these choices wisely as they are the building blocks of a life well lived, helping us to not just drift along, but actively steer towards our chosen values and goals. So, as you navigate through your day, Think about what you are saying yes and no to, and strive to make choices that truly resonate with your personal philosophy and long-term aspirations. 5. Be a master of yourself. Mastering oneself is perhaps one of the most profound challenges and commitments one can undertake, and Stoicism places it at the heart of its teachings. This ancient philosophy asserts that self-discipline is essential not just for personal development, but for living a life that is truly meaningful and purposeful. It's about exerting control over your actions, emotions, and even your thoughts to ensure they're in alignment with your deepest values and objectives. The concept of being a master of yourself is far-reaching. It encompasses everything from resisting fleeting temptations and impulses to maintaining a steady focus on your long-term goals. For instance, in the face of immediate gratification, like skipping a workout to watch TV or foregoing a healthy meal for fast food, the stoic practice of self-mastery involves making choices that might be harder in the moment but are ultimately more rewarding but mastering oneself isn't just about saying no to temptation, it's also about regulating your emotional responses to external stimuli. Stoicism teaches us that our emotions should not dictate our actions. Instead, we should manage our emotions through rational thought. For example, instead of reacting in anger when provoked, a stoic approach would be to pause, reflect on why the situation is causing this emotional response, and choose a course of action that is reasoned and aligned with one's personal virtues. Moreover, mastering yourself means governing your thoughts. It involves being mindful of the narratives you tell yourself, challenging negative or unhelpful patterns of thinking, and fostering a mindset that supports your aspirations. This might mean transforming self-doubt into affirmations of your capabilities, or turning fear of failure into motivation to prepare and perform. This level of self-discipline and control doesn't happen overnight. It is a skill that develops through practice and persistence. It requires constant vigilance and the willingness to make tough choices. However, the rewards are substantial. By mastering yourself, you gain a sense of personal freedom and autonomy that comes from knowing you are living intentionally, not reactively. You set the terms on which you engage with the world around you, and this is a powerful position to be in. 6. Protect your time. Time, as the Stoics often reminded us, is our most valuable commodity, and unlike other resources, it is irretrievable once spent. The Stoic philosophy places a strong emphasis on mindfulness, particularly regarding how we utilize our time, urging us to live each moment in a way that is purposeful and aligned with our deepest values and long-term goals. Think about it. Every day, every hour, every moment is an opportunity to shape our lives. But without mindful attention, it's all too easy for time to slip away consumed by the trivialities or distractions that fill our days. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, famously wrote about seizing each day as if it were your last, not in a morbid sense, but as a reminder to live fully and with intention. So, how do you ensure that your time is being well spent? 
It starts with a clear understanding of what is truly important to you, your values, your goals, and the kind of person you want to be. Once these are established, you can begin to assess how well your daily activities map to these priorities. Are you spending hours on social media when you could be engaging with your family, pursuing a hobby that fulfills you, or working on a project that could advance your career? Treating your time like the precious resource it is means setting boundaries and saying no to things that don't serve your higher purposes. It might involve turning down invitations that will distract from your goals or cutting off activities that eat into your productive or quality time. This is not about being miserly with your time, but about being selective, choosing quality over quantity in how you spend each hour. Moreover, protecting your time also means being organized and efficient. Stoicism teaches us not just to be mindful of how we spend our time, but also to be strategic. This could involve planning your day meticulously, prioritizing tasks based on their significance, and eliminating time wasters from your routine. It's about creating systems that help you work smarter, not harder, and that ensure you're always moving in the direction of your life's objectives. 7. Do the hard things. The Stoics were famously resilient, viewing hardship not merely as a part of life, but as a crucial element in shaping a virtuous and meaningful existence. They taught that embracing difficult tasks, those that push us beyond our comfort zones, is essential for developing strength and character. Stoicism doesn't just accept the presence of challenges, it encourages us to seek them out, to lean into the difficulty, because that's where true growth happens. When we think about doing hard things, it's not just about the physical trials, though these are important. It includes facing complex problems, making tough decisions, or handling emotionally challenging situations. These experiences demand a lot from us, testing our patience, endurance, and resolve. But according to Stoic philosophy, it is precisely through these tests that our character is forged. Each challenge is an opportunity to practice virtues like courage, perseverance, and resilience. For instance, consider the act of tackling a steep climb or a grueling fitness regimen. Physically, it's demanding, but the real challenge and reward lies in the mental and emotional growth that occurs. Each step forward is a victory not just of the body, but of the will. Or think about a difficult project at work or a complex personal problem. The process of navigating these situations builds analytical skills, patience and wisdom. The Stoics would argue that if we spend our lives avoiding the hard tasks, choosing the path of least resistance, we miss out on these growth opportunities. We remain comfortable, yes, but we also stay confined within the limits of our existing capabilities. On the other hand, when we choose to do the hard things, we expand those limits. We discover new strengths and learn more about our capacities. 8. Make others better. Stoicism extends beyond the boundaries of personal development to encompass the welfare and growth of those around us. The Stoic philosophers emphasized that true progress cannot be insular. Our own improvement is deeply interconnected with the betterment of others. They encouraged a spirit of communal growth and mutual support, understanding that when we help uplift others, the benefits are twofold. We not only enhance the lives of those we assist, but also enrich our own experiences and understanding. When you think about contributing to the growth of others, it's not just about offering advice or stepping in to solve problems for them. It involves being a positive presence that inspires and encourages. It could be as simple as listening attentively when someone shares their difficulties, offering encouragement when they doubt themselves, or sharing resources and knowledge that could help them overcome obstacles. Each of these actions has the potential to make a significant impact on someone's life. 
For Stoics, the act of making others better is also a way to practice virtues such as generosity, empathy, and kindness. These are qualities that define not only a good society, but a meaningful life. By fostering an environment where people feel supported and valued, you create a community where everyone can thrive. This approach doesn't diminish your own pursuits. Rather, it amplifies the impact of your actions, creating a ripple effect of positivity and growth. Moreover, improving the lives of others can offer new perspectives on your own challenges and ambitions. It can teach you patience, enhance your ability to empathize, and provide a deeper sense of satisfaction than solitary achievements might. The joy and fulfillment derived from seeing others succeed with your support are profound and lasting. 9. Practice Gratitude Stoics understood that much of our discontent stems from focusing on what we lack or what could go wrong, rather than appreciating what we already have. They advocated for a daily practice of gratitude to counterbalance our natural tendency to take things for granted and to worry about the future. Incorporating gratitude into your daily routine can profoundly shift your perspective. It helps recalibrate your focus from deficiencies to the abundance that surrounds you. This could be as simple as feeling thankful for a sunny day, appreciating a friend's kindness, or acknowledging your own progress and achievements. By taking a moment each day to reflect on these things, you train your mind to recognize and celebrate the positive aspects of life, no matter how small. This practice not only enhances your own sense of well-being, but also improves your interactions with others. When you approach life with a grateful heart, your demeanor becomes more positive and welcoming, which in turn can affect how others respond to you. People are naturally drawn to warmth and positivity, qualities that gratitude cultivates. Moreover, gratitude in Stoicism is not just about feeling happier, it's about creating a buffer against the negative emotions that can cloud our judgment and hinder our ability to think clearly. When you're grateful, you're less likely to be overwhelmed by envy or resentment. Instead, you're more likely to respond to challenges with a balanced mindset and make decisions that align with your values. 10. Embrace Continuous Learning In Stoicism, the pursuit of wisdom is never-ending. Life itself is viewed as a continuous lesson, an ongoing journey of growth, discovery and adaptation. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Epictetus stress the importance of lifelong learning, not just in the acquisition of knowledge, but as a means to living a virtuous and fulfilling life. They understood that the more we learn, the better equipped we are to make thoughtful decisions and respond effectively to the challenges life throws our way. Embracing continuous learning means staying curious and open to new ideas, new disciplines and new perspectives. It involves a proactive approach to education where you actively seek out opportunities to expand your understanding and capabilities. This could mean reading widely, from literature that enriches your soul to non-fiction that expands your understanding of the world. It could involve exploring new hobbies that challenge your physical and mental boundaries, or engaging in discussions that push you to think critically and empathetically. In today's rapidly changing world, the need for continuous learning has never been more evident. Technologies evolve, industries transform, and societal norms shift. Keeping up with these changes doesn't just give you a competitive edge, it helps you remain relevant and adaptable in an ever-changing landscape. Moreover, the act of learning new skills can re-energize your mind and body, providing a sense of achievement and excitement. However, embracing continuous learning is not merely about keeping pace with external changes. It's also about internal growth. By continually challenging yourself to learn and evolve, you are committing to self-improvement and personal excellence. This aligns closely with Stoic values, which emphasize the development of self 
through disciplines of character and intellect. To integrate this practice into your life, make learning a daily habit. Set aside time each day to read, watch informative videos, or practice a new skill. Be intentional about stepping outside your comfort zone and embrace opportunities to learn from every situation, whether from success or failure. Ask questions, seek feedback, and reflect on your experiences to extract lessons from them. 11. Embrace Vulnerability The Stoics recognize that true fortitude involves the courage to show our genuine selves, including our fears and uncertainties. Embracing vulnerability isn't about weakness, it's about the bravery to face the truth of our human condition, and in doing so, forge deeper connections with those around us. Opening up about our struggles and fears can be daunting. We often fear that showing our true selves might lead to judgment or rejection. However, Stoicism encourages us to view vulnerability as an opportunity for authenticity and growth. By revealing our true selves, we invite others to do the same, which can lead to more meaningful and supportive relationships. This mutual authenticity fosters a deeper understanding and bond between individuals, built on the foundations of trust and empathy. Moreover, embracing vulnerability is a path to personal growth. When we acknowledge and expose our fears, we are taking the first steps towards overcoming them. Stoic philosophy teaches us that facing our vulnerabilities is essential to developing resilience. It is only by confronting what scares us that we can truly learn about ourselves and grow. This process involves a thoughtful reflection on our own limitations and challenges, which in turn leads to a better understanding of how we can improve and adapt. In practice, embracing vulnerability might mean having honest conversations with friends about your challenges, asking for help when you need it, or expressing your emotions openly. It could also involve public speaking, sharing your ideas in a group, or admitting mistakes in your professional life. Each of these acts requires courage, but they also open doors to new levels of personal achievement and satisfaction. To truly integrate this into your life, consider the stoic exercise of self-examination and reflection at the end of each day. Assess moments when you might have hidden your true feelings or masked your insecurities. Think about what held you back and how you might respond differently in the future to live more authentically. Over time, this practice not only eases the fear associated with vulnerability, but also strengthens your character and enriches your relationships. 12. Cultivate resilience through adversity. Stoicism teaches us that adversity is not merely something to endure. It is a vital element of our growth and development. Life, with all its unpredictability and trials, isn't always easy. But Stoics view these challenges not as misfortunes, but as opportunities to build strength and resilience. The Stoic perspective doesn't shy away from hardship, but instead embraces it as an essential part of the human experience. Every challenge, according to Stoic philosophy, is a teacher in disguise. When we face difficulties, we are presented with opportunities to practice virtues such as patience, courage, and endurance. These moments force us to tap into our inner resources, to dig deep and find solutions that we might not have considered if we hadn't been pushed to our limits. This process of facing and overcoming adversity is what builds resilience making us not just more capable of handling future challenges, but also more confident in our ability to do so. Building resilience through adversity involves a conscious choice to see obstacles as formative rather than destructive. This mindset shift is critical. It's about deciding to focus on what can be gained from each difficult situation. For instance, a professional setback can be a chance to learn more about your field or to develop new strategies for success. A personal crisis might lead you to discover strengths you didn't know you had or to reaffirm your values and priorities. 
To cultivate resilience, start by embracing a stoic attitude towards daily challenges. Instead of lamenting or avoiding difficulties, ask yourself what each challenge teaches you. Reflect on how each experience has shaped you. Consider the skills you've developed as a result and think about how you can apply those lessons moving forward. Resilience isn't developed in a day, but each step you take in learning from adversity solidifies your ability to withstand and adapt to life's inevitable ups and downs. 13. Practice the art of reflection. In Stoicism, the practice of reflection is not just recommended, it is considered essential for living a wise and meaningful life. This philosophy teaches us that the unexamined life lacks depth and understanding, emphasizing the importance of regularly taking stock of our actions, choices, and underlying motivations. This process of self-reflection allows us to gain insight into our own behaviors and to align more closely with our core values and objectives. Reflection in Stoicism goes beyond mere introspection. It involves a deliberate and structured approach to thinking about how we have handled situations, what decisions we made, why we made them, and how we can improve. By doing this consistently, ideally on a daily basis, we cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves, which in turn informs our future choices. This isn't just about self-improvement, but about self-awareness, recognizing both our strengths and areas where we fall short. Practicing the art of reflection can be as simple as spending a few quiet minutes at the end of each day to consider what went well and what didn't. It's about asking yourself questions like, did I act according to my principles today? Or what could I have done better? This process helps to identify patterns in your behavior that may be contributing to outcomes, both good and bad, and it provides a chance to course correct if necessary. Moreover, regular reflection encourages a more intentional way of living. When you start to see the consequences of your actions and understand the reasons behind your choices, you become more deliberate in how you act. This doesn't mean you won't make mistakes, but it does mean that you'll learn from them more effectively and make better decisions in the future. Reflection also fosters a sense of inner peace and contentment. By affirming that you are living in accordance with your values or by recognizing where you need to make changes, you can reduce inner conflict and live with greater harmony and purpose. Stoics believe that this peace is essential for true happiness. 14. Cultivate a robust mindset. Cultivating a robust mindset is at the heart of Stoic philosophy, which teaches us the importance of mental strength and resilience. Stoics believe that a well-trained mind is the foundation of good living and that by cultivating a mindset geared towards positivity and empowerment, we can face life's challenges, not just with acceptance, but with vigor. This philosophy doesn't suggest ignoring reality or pretending that difficulties don't exist, but rather encourages us to approach these difficulties with a mindset that views them as opportunities for growth and learning. A strong mindset starts with the deliberate choice to focus on positive and empowering thoughts. This doesn't mean overlooking the negatives, but rather choosing to give more energy to constructive thoughts that enhance your ability to respond effectively. For example, instead of dwelling on what might go wrong, a stoic mindset encourages you to consider what you can do right now to improve the situation. This shift in focus from problem-oriented to solution-oriented thinking is crucial for maintaining a sense of control and purpose, especially in challenging situations. Training your mind to be resilient is like training a muscle. The more you work on it, the stronger it becomes. This involves regular practice in seeing challenges as opportunities. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can this strengthen me? 
By habitually responding to difficulties with these questions, you reframe your experiences as valuable lessons rather than mere hurdles, fostering a resilience that can withstand even the toughest of circumstances. Moreover, maintaining a positive outlook regardless of circumstances is a fundamental stoic practice. This doesn't imply a blind optimism, but a reasoned, deliberate optimism that chooses to highlight the potential good in each situation. Stoics use techniques like negative visualization, contemplating the worst-case scenarios, not to foster fear, but to diminish the impact of those fears, allowing a more balanced and positive outlook to prevail. To cultivate such a mindset, you can start by practicing mindfulness and awareness of your thought patterns. Notice when you slip into negativity or defeatism and consciously choose to redirect your thoughts towards more productive and optimistic angles. You might also engage in regular mental exercises like journaling or meditation, which can help you develop the discipline needed to maintain a robust mindset. 15. Live in alignment with your values. Living in alignment with your values is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the importance of congruence between your beliefs and your actions. Stoicism teaches that true satisfaction and peace come from within, from living a life that is not only externally successful, but also deeply connected to your personal moral principles. This harmony between what you value and how you live allows for a life of authenticity, where each decision and action is imbued with personal significance and integrity. For Stoics, understanding and defining your values is the first critical step. These values might include honesty, courage, generosity, or loyalty, ideals that guide your decisions and shape your interactions with the world. Once you have a clear understanding of what you stand for, the challenge is to consistently make choices that reflect these values. This isn't always easy. It often requires making tough decisions that might go against the grain of societal expectations or short-term gains. However, the reward is a life of authenticity, free from the inner conflict that arises when our actions don't match our beliefs. Living in alignment with your values also means being proactive about the life you create. It involves regularly assessing your lifestyle, relationships and career to ensure they reflect your core principles. For instance, if one of your key values is community service, you might choose a profession that allows you to help others or volunteer your time regularly. If you value health and well-being, your daily habits should support this, whether it's through diet, exercise or mental health practices. Moreover, when your life aligns with your values, every action becomes more meaningful. This is because you're not just going through the motions, you're actively making choices that resonate with your deepest self. This adds a layer of purpose and fulfillment to even the mundane aspects of life, transforming routine tasks into expressions of your values. For example, choosing to walk or cycle instead of driving can be an expression of valuing sustainability and health, not just a simple choice of transportation. To live in alignment with your values, it's useful to engage in regular reflection, revisiting and possibly revising your values as your life and circumstances evolve. This ongoing process ensures that your actions continue to reflect your current beliefs and goals. It also involves being mindful of the small choices you make daily as these add up to create the larger picture of your life. Thank you for joining us today and exploring these profound Stoic teachings. Remember, the journey towards a life aligned with your deepest values is ongoing and each step you take is a step toward wisdom and fulfillment. Keep striving, keep growing, and embrace each day with courage and authenticity. If you found today's discussion enriching, I invite you to watch one of the suggested videos on the screen to dive even deeper into the wisdom of Stoicism. 
Thank you for being a part. Together, let's continue to discover the timeless insights that help us lead more meaningful lives.